Hello and welcome to another edition of In Focus on Titan TV. I'm Elizabeth Monso. We are very excited to have on our show today Dr. Anil Puri, the Dean of the Mahalo College of Business and Economics here at Cal State Fullerton. Dr. Puri, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for inviting me. Now, can you give us an overview of your occupational and educational background? Sure, I'm an economist by training. Uh, I got my PhD in economics from University of Minnesota. And uh, believe it or not, I've been at Cal State Fullerton uh, since my first job in, in the late 70s. Started as an assistant professor, <coughs> worked through the ranks, department chair. And in 1998, uh, Dr. Gordon appointed me as the dean of the college. Oh, wonderful. Now, what attracted you to the field of business and economics? You know, my mother wanted me to be an engineer. And I wasn't quite sure I wanted to do that, but I liked analytical studies analysis, but I was also interested in social issues. So within the social sciences, economics seems to be the best discipline because it prepares you mentally to think critically about issues. And so it has the right mix of rigor and reality and real world analysis. So that's what attracted me and I haven't regretted that decision. Now, can you tell us about the programs and departments that make up the College of Business and Economics? Sure. The College of Business has six departments accounting, economics, finance, information system, decision sciences, marketing, and management. But we also have 14 centers of excellence, which are the bridges between uh, uh, industry uh, and students are teaching. Because it's very important for business students to know what's happening in the real world. And the centers provide that bridge for us. Mahalo College of Business and Economics is the largest uh, business school in the state of California. We have 8,500 students, uh, 400 uh, uh, MBA students, and uh, several others in the master's programs. But the undergraduate program is the li largest component for, with about uh, 7,800 students. Oh, wow. Quite big. Yes. Now, what skills can students learn in the College of Business and Economics that will allow them to make an impact in our society? You know, I think in today's world, business is really an exciting discipline. And I don't say that just because I'm in the business school. I really think that the option that the business education provides to students and the variety of things that students can do with business education, I don't think you'll find in any other discipline. They not only learn skills, whether it's accounting or finance or, or information systems, but they apply that to the real world businesses out there and produce value for the society as a whole. They make a living for themselves, but they also are engaged in producing goods and services that are demanded by the citizens all over the world now. And they feel should feel happy that they're contributing towards improvement of people's uh, living standards and meeting their needs. Now, what career opportunities can students uh, from the College of Business and Economics uh, get with, a degree, with that degree? The business degree is, is a very varied degree. A lot of choices available. Students can work for a private business, or they can work for a nonprofit or government. So there's a whole range of jobs that are available with different sets, uh, skill sets. Some people may be very good in accounting. Others are very good in marketing. Somebody's very good in uh, statistical analysis or information systems. And there are jobs available in each and every one of those fields, and they're growing. And there's global competition for jobs. And I think having these skills gives an edge to our students. Now, can you tell us about the Center for International Business the, uh, that is offered by your college, and why is this uh, program important? You know, the world is becoming a global place. Businesses are no longer confined to the local market, not just your neighborhood store. Every business really, literally, sells it in the global arena through the internet. We realized that quite some time ago that our students need to have an understanding of the global business. They need to concentrate on studying about the global business and also have first-hand experience if they can. So in the Mahalo College, we created this Center for International Business, which provides that uh, opportunity, both to our students and faculty members, to be involved in international activities. It also works with our uh, undergraduate degree in international business and supports that degree for internships and in other, in other ways. Now, does your college offer scholarships? If so, what are some of these scholarships and how can students apply? 
there are so many scholarships available, and I wish more students will take advantage of that. Not only did the financial aid uh, uh, available from the state sources, but the College of Business and Economics, and I should say Mahalo College of Business and Economics, we raised a lot of money from our friends and business uh, associates, business friends, and our alumni to provide uh, scholarships in every field uh, through a number of different departments. And lots of times, we have tough time finding uh, eligible students to uh, get these scholarships. So I will encourage business students to apply for every scholarship that they see that they think they can qualify for. Uh, we have, I know it's a tough time, uh, but I think these scholarships can, can help. Now, what are some events and workshops that the College of Business and Economics hosts on a regular basis that exposes its students into the job market? Mahalo College holds so many events to provide this bridge between students, education, and the business community. We have Professor for a Day event, which we've been doing for over 15 years. For two days in a year, we invite 150 to 200 business executives and alumni to come back to the classroom and share with their students their career path, answer students' questions. That is one of the most popular events that we hold. We do economic uh, forecasts for the community as a whole, in fact, twice in a year. Our Family Business Council, our Center for Insurance Studies, Center for Corporate Reporting and Governance, Center for Entrepreneurship, I could just go on and on. Each of these 14 centers have several events during the year where students participate in these centers, they, they talk to outside people, they learn about what's available for them, what career they might uh, adopt, and networking, get to know people who are going to be offering these jobs. So it's really an exciting place where throughout the year, college is busy with a number of things that are going on. Well, it's very remarkable from your college. Now, in what ways has the College of Business and Economics utilized technology to improve the way their students are instructed? I think Mahalo College was the first one in the university to take a lead in offering online instruction. Actually, I was the first one in the university with a colleague of mine to offer the first online course. And since then, um, several faculty members have developed a number of online courses. Not only that, we are uh, next year will be proposing an upper division concentration fully online. Uh, we are working with College of Communication in providing a master's level degree uh, online only. So online education is very important. Uh, it provides convenience for students and it provides that enrichment of detail and knowledge that you have to use online tools even if you're using uh, teaching a class face to face. So it's not online education itself, the class, it's how we use technology in our classes, our regular classes, that I think is so impressive. I'm very proud of the faculty members who are doing all this in the college. Now, with all the economic challenges, uh, facing higher education, budget cuts, salary cuts, uh, reduced classes, how does the College of Business and Economics move forward in spite of these challenges? You know, a lot of these challenges are there. I recognize that. But there's little that we in the college can do anything about, for example, the state budget issue. So we try to concentrate on what we can do, which is do a good job in the classroom, do a good job in the office, provide services to our students. And we are reaching out more and more to our alumni and business friends to ask them for help. And that has been forthcoming to the college so that we can meet the needs of the business students and provide scholarships and, and, and provide opportunities for our faculty to continue to build their intellectual capital. It's all working. We have a long way to go. There are a lot more to do. But we cannot uh, let crises, which are cyclical in nature, I think they'll go away. But we cannot let today's crisis deter us from our long-term goal of achieving excellence. Now, what plans does the College of Business and Economics have in store for the future? We are launching a full-time MBA program next year. We will be launching a fully online business concentration. Mahalo College has several strategic initiatives, two of which I just mentioned. The third is an undergraduate honors program. We are the second cohort. Uh, we'll be hiring a, a twice as large third cohort in this coming year to provide enriched experience for our top students, students who really want to uh, get the most out of college education. So there are s these are some of the things that we are going to push forward in this coming year and the years beyond. Now, how does the staff of the College of Business and Economics help th uh, their students decide on which field they want to enter? 
First of all, our faculty members fully engage students when they come to their office hours or in the classroom talking about career choices. Uh, our, we have an uh, advising center within the college uh, which is supported partly by the student uh, association uh, that provides opportunities for students f uh, about career choices. We hold a number of employer fairs where we bring employers to the campus to talk to the students about the opportunities available. And you know, our students, two-thirds of them work part-time or full-time. So already they have a very good idea of the workplace, a working life, which is not true f in most other universities. Students don't have the kind of real-world experiences that our students have. So that, combined with the services that we offer, prepares our students well uh, for the world of work. Internships are a very important part of that. We have a very significant, very large internship program in the college, and many students take advantage of that to make their career choices. Now, being a college dean comes with many responsibilities and duties. How do you work with the other college students to provide Castle Fullerton's uh, students the best education possible? With other colleges? Yes. We have a number of programs that we have engaged in with other colleges. For example, with the Natural Sciences and Mathematics, we created a program we call FizzBiz. It's really business education for physics majors. Uh, physics majors tend not to go in business, but not all of them. Many of them do end up one way or the other, either owning a business or, 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 or being a part of the business. So we provide business education to them. We have recently created a joint master's with the College of Communications Integrated Marketing Communications Package, where we'll be teaching half the courses, they'll be teaching half the courses. And so, and we work with other colleges in various ways because business is a a uh, minor for a number of students on, on our campus, no matter what their major is. And through our business minor, we interact with students in other colleges. Now, who are some of your influences and role models that helped you get to where you are today? Well, you know, other than my mother, who influenced my uh, thinking and, and, and raising me, uh, I've always uh, been influenced by leaders who have accomplished, uh, you know, President Lincoln, for example. Uh, Abraham Lincoln is, is a role model for how to be a leader, how to inspire people. Uh, there, there, there's not a particular person or one person. I think uh, people who have accomplished a great deal in the world, they provide us with insight into leadership and what is valuable. Now, what words of encouragement would you give to prospective students who are thinking about majoring in the College of Business and Economics? I would uh, recommend that they pick a major and uh, make sure that they, that they understand, they study hard. Critical thinking skills in today's world, I think, are of critical importance. Communication and leadership comes right next to that. So when you come to our Mahalo College of Business, when you join, when you declare business as a major, be sure that you try to take a leadership role in a student organization, uh, in the department, or any other way you want to. But Take the most, get the most out of college. College may seem a long period for students, but it's really not. Four or even six years in the college is really a short time, and I would urge them to make the best use of that by getting engaged, spending as much time as they can with colleagues, uh, with their faculty members, and getting as much out of their education as they possibly can. Now, what words of encouragement would you give to students who are about to graduate from the College of Business and Economics and embark in a career? These are tough times for jobs because uh, jobs have not been plentiful in the last three years. But the economy is improving. Job picture is going to continue to improve with that. The important thing is that even if you don't get a job that you really are excited about in the first year or two or three of your career, continue to work at what you can get hold of, make the most of it, learn as much as you can, move to the next job. Ultimately, look for a job that is personally satisfying to you, that you feel that you are excited by, by that, and, and you can really get engaged in that. And I think the rest of the uh, thing will take care of money and position and everything will come with it if you can find something that you really enjoy doing, that you can really get into it and, and be excited about. Now, lastly, can you tell us why is it important to have an education, a college education in today's world? Uh, today's world is very different from our parents' world, yours or mine, or going back. Today's world has become very complicated and very sophisticated. 
you cannot acquire the knowledge to successfully operate in today's world without some advanced education. High school education is not going to get you there. College education is minimum, four, four years of college education is minimum necessary today if you want to be a uh, to have a successful career and you want to make a good amount of money. There's a, the difference between high school education and college education in terms of salaries is increasing. It, has, it is substantial, millions of dollars. So I think if any high school student who decided not to go to college without thinking enough about it, they'll be making a mistake. I would encourage all of them to give it a try. If they cannot do it, I understand, and they maybe have other reasons not to go to college. But I would think that just about every high school today should be, students should be thinking about four years of college education. Well, that's great advice. Thank you very much for being with us today, Dr. Puri. For more information on the College of Business and Economics, please visit their website at business.fullerton.edu. I'm Elizabeth Manso. Thank you for watching In Focus on Titan TV.